What is going on, everyone? Today, we are going to talk about whether the Echidna hard nerfs were enough in Lost Ark. I'm sure this is a hot topic for many of you, and maybe it's because either you haven't tried it out yet, or you haven't even cleared it yet, especially those who are dealing with pugs. So, did Smilegate and AGS screw us over, or did we get exactly what we needed? Let's talk about it. But, before we get into it, if you're enjoying these discussions, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are slowly growing each and every day, and it's amazing to see this community grow. Alright, let's talk about Kinda Hard. So, first impressions after the nerfs. I did notice a higher rate of groups making it to the basement phase, which is great, on paper. But hold on, let's not celebrate just yet. Getting to basement isn't that easy by any means. Unless you have some really solid DPS players in your group, getting there is just the beginning of a whole new set of headaches. Even with the HP nerf, which we'll get into later, it's like Smilegate decided to make the basement more accessible, but didn't really adjust the difficulty in any meaningful way. Let's talk about some of the flaws that were blatantly ignored. The skate mechanic with the added butterflies. Oh man, don't even get me started. It's like they thought, Hey guys, let's just make this more unnecessarily difficult by adding something that throws off everyone's rhythm. This mechanic is just so out of place as is. The butterflies just makes this even more incredibly stupid. The change to mirror light in the echidna mechanic, this one that you're seeing right here. Yeah, on paper, it sounds like they gave us two chances. But in reality, it's still a wipe if you missed the first one. It's like they wanted to sound generous, but didn't actually give us anything useful. These kinds of changes make me seriously question if there are any QA testers at Smilegate. Or did they just cut them out from the budget so much that nobody is there to give them real feedback? In that case, uh-oh, we are screwed. The future bosses are going to be absolute nightmares because they can't control their interns trying to design a really cool thing to show off in their portfolio without realizing the catastrophic effects it has on the player's mental. Whew. We still got a lot more, so buckle in everyone. Another thing I've noticed is that the fly trap cycle timing is completely off now. For those who have spent countless hours in a kit in a hard, muscle memory is everything. So when they mess with the timing, it throws everyone off. I've seen so many wipes simply because players, myself included, were relying on old habits that no longer apply. So after a certain amount of time, the, the fly trap disappears, we go. But uh-oh, now they spawn again. So people who are slightly late will get caught. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's really a, a buff in this situation, or I guess a nerf to Echidna. But anyway, let's also not forget about the pre-raid spawned flower tiles. Some of these are so badly placed that they seem like they're trolling us on purpose. Yeah, I'm not talking about the ones where we're placing them, the ones that are already there when the raid starts. Like, who thought it was a good idea to put them in such horrible spots. I remember one time there was a run where a huge blob of flowers spawned in the middle. So it was basically impossible to hit Echidna when she activated that flower tile. So stupid. But while we're on the subject of stupid, I still wish they fixed the mirror mechanic. It would be so much more intuitive if they showed the starting position, I'm also, this is by the way, talking about the basement part. It would be more intuitive if they showed the starting position, the mirror that glowed red, and then displayed Echidna's left right movement clearly. I mentioned this in my other video, but I'm also saying it now because 
I have wiped so many times because nobody knows how to do the mirror mech. Even in this video, you're going to see, maybe, if the, the duration of this video is long enough, you will see that I'm the one that does the mirror mech, right? Nobody else does it. So I have to do everything. So I would love it if I can have some help, right? It would be lovely if everybody, it was so easy and intuitive that everybody can help out. Everybody knows exactly where it is so that if somebody messes up, it's all good. The majority at least knows, correct? Anyway, moving on. Now, let's talk about a change that actually felt like a small itsy bitsy spider win that is the HP nerf. This was definitely a welcome change since this footage right here that we are all watching wouldn't exist without it. Even with the nerf though, people are still struggling to meet DPS checks. I'm sorry, but I don't think it was nerfed enough. I am terrified for future runs continuing to look like this, where I only have a minute left on the berserk timer. Even though I'm doing my absolute best, I'm using atropines, I'm using dark grenades. But seriously, why do we need to perform like pro players just to clear this gate every week? The DPS checks should be more relaxed in future raids. It's one thing to have a challenge, but it's another to feel like you need to be on a static team with top tier gear just to have a shot at clearing. Which reminds me of a comment I had on one of my other videos. Somebody says the DPS check isn't tight for Kinda Hard. Huh? Turns out, after talking to him, the dude has a four man group with 1650 DPSers and a support. Like, yeah, dude, that's called having a static privilege with a sprinkle of RNT pay to win to help you out. Not everyone is like you. Like, I'm sorry. I, I can't believe I have to say this, right? You're 20 item levels ahead of it with a pocket support, and you're saying the DPS check is easy. Guys, just do 40 mil DPS. That, that's what he said. Like, oh my goodness. I need to make a reaction video to all the worst comments I have received so far. And trust me, there are a lot. I am thoroughly surprised by how some people, you know, think this way, honestly. It's been a crazy month, I'm not gonna lie. It might be interesting, so subscribe if you do want to see that video. All right, so now we're actually getting to the basement phase, but as we're continuing on with this footage, one other change that I thought was actually pretty solid was the X0 adjustment where everyone can see the glowing areas without having to type out positions. It's a small change, but a good one. This is kind of the one where, you know, it, it was just kind of there, like a few block of text, but it really helped. It reduced the need to type, and I am a sucker for those. Typing needs to stop, right? You should be, it should all be intuitive. Anyway, even with these nerfs, Akinna Hard is still way too difficult for the average player. Yes, I'm talking about average player here. I'm not talking about you with your 1650 DPS and your pocket support doing 40 mil, 50 mil DPS. I'm not talking about you guys, okay? You guys could do it even without the Echidna HP nerfs. But there are people out there that don't do 40, 50 mil. So it's going to be a challenge, right? Not not talking about you, Mr. Elitist, sir, okay? So, you know who you are. Let's stop with this mentality. Let's start thinking about other people here. Like It's not even me. I know I'm not an average player. I'm a decent player as well. But I'm not going to sit here and be like, huh, I'm better than everybody, so everybody should be like me. No, they shouldn't. That's the whole point. This game is supposed to be easy enough that, you know, the average person is able to clear like even in this video we had three strong players dps players we barely had a minute left before hitting berserk this sork in party two 
He had a plus 25 weapon with plus 20 advanced toning. He was pumping. So was the Berserker. So shout outs to you guys. Now, okay, I, maybe I, after saying this, you know, I'm calling out the others. I am not, okay? They did their part. I really respect everybody in this party. They did a great job. They lived to the end. That is all that matters. That is what I'm trying to advocate for is if you can live to the end and you're doing, you know, some decent damage, like you're hitting the boss during certain times, you should be able to clear because you, you lived. I feel like that's fair, right? You shouldn't have to do this 40, 50 mil DPS to actually clear the raid, right? Like, am, am I the wrong one here? Please let me know if I'm just talking out of my bud here in the comments section. Uh, it's just such a incredibly tight margin. It's really exhausting. You got to do this every single week too. You, you got to remember that. This is every single week. The, the timer for Berserk starts at 8 minutes starting in basement. So you have 8 minutes to get to X0. If you're spending 7 minutes to clear this with luckily i got two other dpsers that were doing very well but in pugs you don't know what you're going to get right you'll never know what you get so in that case with this like huge volatile chance of getting good players it needs to be easier because i know if i do this next week and i don't have the sorg i don't have the berserker i'm going to be in for a rough time even if i play well so like, come on. Like, it's it's way too difficult, right? Like, for those who have to rely on a random teammate who might be only doing 14 million DPS, it's a whole different story from your worry. situation. So, were the Echidna hard nerfs worth it? In some ways, yes. The HP nerf was actually helpful to an extent. I feel like it should have been a little bit more. I'm a little bit disappointed about that. But... It was okay, and I especially like the X0 changes. Those were steps in the right direction. But, like I mentioned in the first part of this video, the other fixes felt more like band-aids than actual solutions. They sound good on paper, but in practice, they don't really address the core issues. And I feel like there are just no QA testers at Smilegate. Now, I could be wrong, and then, oops, I'm, you know, dogging on somebody's job and they're not doing a good job. Well, then, you know, I'm sorry, but you need to do a better job. Because th this, as it is right now, is unacceptable. But anyway, Echidna Hard, like I said, remains a challenge. It's still out of reach for the average player. Many average players, especially in global, we're just not that good. Especially those in pugs. So until Smilegate starts listening to its broader player base rather than these elitists and start implementing changes that actually make a difference in gameplay, we are going to keep running into the same frustrations week after week. Thanks for watching. If you've had similar experiences or completely disagree, drop it in the comments below. I read them all and I will comment whenever I can. Let's get a discussion going. And as always, if you're not subscribed yet, now's the time. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more Lost Ark content. Oh, and for those who made it this far, you know who you are, my pineapple gang. I love you all. Seriously, amazing. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, even with these long videos, I see that some of you watch it till the end. And that is amazing, by the way. Thank you so much. I do work on these videos really like with a lot of dedication. It's a big passion of mine. So I really appreciate it that you guys stick it through to the end. But I will say, though, people are catching on to us. And we need to have a code word for every video. Kind of a different one for each video. So what I suggest leave a regular comment but add pink since we're an echidna add pink somewhere in there that will be our code word for this video all right this has gone on long enough you don't want to hear this bozo yapping anymore i'm sure you just want to enjoy the gameplay so i will catch you all in the next one 
take care and I will just let this video ride out with the volume on. See you all. What the fuck is it? She's just doing a random pattern. Just counter. We still have a minute, 30 seconds left. It's, it's doable. Get out, get out, get out. Stay a little bit close. Push out. Good, good. Okay. Okay, it's beautiful. All right, here we go. Okay, so who gets grabbed? It's first? just gonna. You get grabbed first. I'll get grabbed second. Okay, never mind. Get grabbed third. Okay. This is just basically the same mech. Just, just dodge. Okay. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Remember, it's the same max. But after the third pattern, somebody needs to get grabbed. Okay, flash. It's gonna be where? Three, eleven, five. Go to three. Go to three. Don't counter yet. Don't counter. Counter. Don't counter. Don't counter. Fake, Don't counter. Fake, fake. Counter five. Nice. That's how you do it. If I drill the second one. Sure. Whatever. I think we can only use one side aerial anyway. Ow. I can't get grabbed. Get grabbed. Get grabbed. I'm too far away. You get grabbed? Alright, I grabbed. Someone got grabbed. I didn't see it. Where is it? 3, 12. Come on, someone, someone go. 3, what? Don't, don't, don't. I have five, five, I think. I, I can't counter it. I have no counter. Yeah, just do it. Just DPS. I think we can kill it here. <gasps> we finally did it. Oh my god, Lord. Have. Oh. Lord have mercy. Oh, I didn't want to be mean, right? With that title, like you just get kicked if you're an imposter, but there's too many imposters. Oh. I think it's the same ending. Jesus Christ. It's your first time? Yeah, I mean. Because get, getting to X0 is the hard part. X0 itself isn't necessarily the hard part. As long as everybody's doing the counter properly. Yeah, I did. I did get to counter. With another group. Um, we failed at the second counter. Because somebody didn't counter. And then if you don't, if you miss a counter, it's it's over. By the way. <laughs> That's a lot of, uh, a lot of crazy stuff. Like my counter has such a high cooldown. That I almost I, I like I couldn't get the five o'clock one, so I, I try to go for the three o'clock one, then I can't go for the five o'clock one. So then somebody else has to do the five o'clock. Imagine everybody went for the three o'clock one. It's really, it's really tough. It's really tough. Yeah, I got the three o'clock. I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, there it is, upright fighter. Who is this man? What? Oh, oh, he countered 41%. Oh my goodness. All right, well, finally I can stop recording. GG's.